right, y'all, I don't know if y'all can see, but as Matthew's moving, these moths are just going nuts because I think they normally hide under the truck and I don't know, so I'm probably getting run over, but they're just so crazy here. Y'all, look at all these moths. Matthew, how is it hitching up with a moth infestation? Oh, it's delightful, let me tell you. I think you might have ran over some because they like kind of crawled on the tire and then that you went backwards. I'm like, yeah, squish. Victory. <laughs> and surprise, this is Matthew's first walk around in what, five weeks? Yeah, Sean's done them all by herself. I used to do them all and he couldn't stand it, but he can barely walk. So we're going to do our walk around and we'll check with y'all in a minute. Are you ready to leave this moth infestation? <laughs> it's been a beautiful place, but I'm ready to go because we're behind schedule. So let's All get right. it. Welcome to Denver. Land of traffic. I hate traffic. <laughs> Big city traffic stinks. Where there's tons of traffic, everybody. Show of hands if you like driving in traffic. Here I was thinking, we're now on I-25. We did bypass the main part of Denver, but now we're just north of Denver, and this is where the slowdown happens. So I guess we need to be farther away, and hopefully the traffic will improve. And it's a Saturday, too. It's not... Yeah, like it's a, not a work day. Mm -hmm. They said there was an accident, so I wonder if one of them was in an accident. Let's see. Oh, They're changing a tire or a wheel. So that was the accident. Update! We are in traffic yet again. Third accident up ahead, although the other wasn't an accident. It was just a guy changing a tire on an RV. Hopefully the next time you hear from us it will be no more slowdowns and we will be pulling into our rv park right doubt it he's so pessimistic y'all i hope y'all can see it but up on the left it does exist there is a bucky's in colorado johnstown or something like that i think it just opened a couple of months ago and it's like an hour away, like 47 miles or something from our, no, 52 miles from our stop. So it's too far to drive back to, but yep. here it is. We haven't had a Bucky since Pensacola. Wow. There's Bucky's. Uh, Bye. We miss Bucky's, but it's so good to see. It's like, are we back out east? No, they actually have one in Colorado. Welcome to Wyoming. There it is. Yay. Yay. Our favorite state. We're back. Yay! All right, y'all, our stairs got jammed again. No, we didn't take the time to fix it. We should have, and now it's stuck. And Matthew is doing better, but I'm hoping we can get it out. <laughs> yeah, me too. This is the only way in the RV. I really don't like these stairs. I hate these stairs, and they weren't installed properly. Why is it not working? I don't know. By taking those out, he's able to shift the stairs because it's really jammed in there, y'all. And yeah, we messed up. We didn't fix it because this has happened a few times now. And Matthew doesn't think they installed them right to begin with. They didn't. All right. Wow, never taken our stairs down before. All right, okay. set, you, set this end, the feet down on the ground. All right. And how are we gonna fix the other part? Now that it's outside, I can fix it. You'll just have to wait and see. 
now. Now what? Now I can tighten these. Do I need to hold the stairs nope. up? Nope, 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 nope. Y'all, it's never a convenient time to fix stuff. Not when you live on the road. We were just like, oh, we'll just wait. And then you see what happened. We got ourselves in a real pickle. Let us know if y'all have had this happen and how did you get in your RV? All right, whoever designed this designed it wrong because this isn't long enough for when you want this flap and this flap to be in the proper place, this blue thing is not long enough. It doesn't even reach this metal fin, which it needs to to keep the door from closing. So I gotta put this back. You mean to keep the stairs? Keep the, yeah, keep the stairs. So you gotta find a happy medium, a compromise. All right, come look at this. This should be enough to keep the stairs from going where they don't belong. And this still works. If they would take another, if that took me five seconds to figure out. If they would take another five seconds to get this right, then we wouldn't have been suffering with this for three years. Y'all, I need to get my vacuum hose, which means I need to bring the vacuum outside, yep. put the stairs up, and then we have an electric thing right over there on the side that we've never oh, used. Oh, plug it up over there. I don't know if y'all can see, but they have like a little carousel of dogs over there in that little fencing area. I think there's four. Watch your shoulder. And they were happily greeting us when we pulled in. All right, that works. Good. tour of our little site here and I call it little and tight here at the Terry Bison RV Ranch no Terry Bison Ranch RV Park here is our site they have grass um, in between the sides and gravel and you get full hookups they say the sites are 70 feet long and here's our hookup side, water, 50 amp, and sewer. We're parked almost to the back of the site, so I don't really know if it's truly 70 feet. It seems kind of short. All right, y'all. I don't know if you can hear me, but this is the backyard of our RV park. It is what? Terry Bison RV Ranch. I think there's a little baby in there too. The bison are over there by a train. You can um, pay to ride the train and I think you get to feed the bison. I'm not sure how it works. I think when I looked it up, it was 20 a person. But look how cool that is. If we had more time, that's something that we would like to do and think it would be fun, right Matthew? Yeah, that would be a lot of fun. All right, y'all, here's one of the buildings here at the RV park, the Terry Trading Post. You have Sunday brunch train. I guess they have laundry in there, restrooms. Then I'm gonna show y'all what the front looks like. Look how neat, it says jail, <laughs> dry goods, saloon, hotel. They make it look like the old west, don't they, Matthew? Yeah, they do. All right, y'all, this is the side where, you see where it says hotel and saloon? This is the side where you check in for the RVs and you get your train ticket uh, your train tickets there for the bison see it says the Terry trading post and also they have a gift shop in there and they sell firewood and that's where you go let me zoom in to catch the train to see the bison oh they have something called the tombstone cafe y'all we were only here for like half a day there's just so much to explore here. We just didn't have time. They also have like a restaurant. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Yesterday was a very busy day for us. 
and a little frustrating with the stairs. <laughs> oh yeah, y'all saw that. But we're heading oh so far 30 minutes to a harvest host in Laramie. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason we picked a harvest host is because we needed a RV park with full hookups to do um, laundry and that's yep. why we wound up here. But the, our ultimate goal is to wind up boondocking in Laramie. And so we looked at the RV park there, and they want to charge like eighty-five dollars a night. Mm -hmm. And it's it looks like this RV park here, if you know what I mean. Like the sites are really tight and stuff. We're like, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> so we know we can at least get one night here with full hookups, get our laundry done, and everything. And then they had a state park, and on their website it was called the Kurt something. Kurt Dowdy State Park got good reviews said it was ten dollars and you get electric and water i mean that's kind of getting close to how new mexico oh, is yeah. like they charge fourteen dollars we're like that's perfect but wait it gets better and they wouldn't let him book it online so he had to wait till they were open and he called them and then the girl's like yeah that site's still open or whatever and then um she said your grand total is like over fifty dollars it's like fifty five dollars because we're non-residents i uh, no. for one night in this state park and it's not even full hookup no it's water and electric which i know is going to cost them something so it has to cost us something i get that but fifty five dollars they want to charge you twelve dollars just for being out of state and then they want to charge you eighteen dollars just for being electric now wyoming is our favorite state mm -hmm. however the state park fees are not our favorite fees they're not good for out-of-staters i don't think that's very friendly at all and then the other thing he finally got in touch with the visitor center because check-in wasn't until three some state parks let you check in early if your site is open and mm -hmm. check out at 11 and she said for sure you can check in if your site's open yep, but very friendly people have the right to use your campsite until three. So even if they weren't staying there, they can come in and just hang out in your campsite till three because you're yeah. not guaranteed to get it till three. And I'm like, well, that seems... that The way she explained it to me on the phone was the people should be out by 11. If something happens, they're not out fine. But she said other people can come in and use your site until it's three. I don't understand that. Maybe that's not what she meant, but that is what she that's said. What she so said. I don't know. Anyways, I like to say that's why we're staying at a harvest host in Laramie because we need to be closer to the mm -hmm. boondocking sites. It's not $85 a night. Y'all, if you get ready to leave Terry Bison Ranch, this cute little couple always comes by to say goodbye. Anytime somebody's about to leave, it seems like there they go. They're so sweet. There they are again to say goodbye. All right, y'all, there's a peacock in the RV park. All right, y'all, here's a better view of the peacock. It looks like it's eating some something that people left out over there. Cause they, that's where the ducks like to hang out. Yeah, free food. It hasn't spread its, what is it, feathers yet? Feathers, yeah. Look how pretty it is, though. Wow. Are you ready to leave the peacocks and the ducks and the bison behind? It's been fun in our short stay here, but I'm ready to go. Let's get it. All right, y'all, we made it to our harvest host. This is Prairie Grass Ranch in Cheyenne, Wyoming. And this is our spot. She said we're the only ones as of right now that's here. She let us in the gate and she told us where to park, where it would be level. So let me um, back up so y'all can see. There we are. There's our little barn and house over there. She said park closer to the fence where it's more level because I don't know if you can tell as you get closer to the blue bucket, it gets more humpy. Here is this side. Tons of room, y'all. The sky is blue right now. We haven't got to go see the goats, but we hear them. Hopefully we can get some footage of the goats for y'all. You can hear them every once in a while. All right, y'all, you can't visit a goat farm without buying 
um, goat cheese. So mine's just going to hold the camera. I'm going to show you what kind we got. Matthew picked one out and I picked one. Well, first let me show you. They have all kinds of lotions. Homemade. Yeah. It's called Cricket Goat Milk Lotion. And they said this was like pink sugar. Let's smell it though. Let me see. Mmm. Smell that. Oh, that smells nice. That smells like a... It does smell like cotton candy. Yeah. That's cool. Because I was going to get the other one that was just sugar and it was like oatmeal and honey. I'm like, mmm. Then I saw this. I'm like, y'all get that one. Matthew picked one and I picked one. I got the um, goat cheese. It's called Chevre with honey. I'm not sure what... Chevre is a type of cheese. I guess. So we're excited about that. And then Matthew picked this one, garlic and chive chevre. That'd so be good on me. toast, on dip, <laughs> all sorts of stuff. Sandwiches? Yeah, so I'm going to get this in the fridge, y'all, and then um, we're going to eat lunch and go find some boondocking. That's what we're doing. All right, y'all, it's windy, but look at this turkey. It's a massive turkey. Have you ever seen a live turkey this big? Not this big and not white either. Look how pretty it is. It's so fluffy. Y'all want to see something cool over here? It's this truck. What is it, Matthew? An international. international. And he said it has, what, 16-inch rims on it? Yeah, six-cylinder. Uh, six no, he talked about the rim. No, it's a six-cylinder engine. Oh, okay. And then see the rims. Let me zoom in for y'all. Well, the turkey just made a noise. International S120 series. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't it cool? Yep, this is their project. Let me show y'all the back. How many of y'all have owned a truck like this? Leave us a comment below. I'll give y'all a tour on this side. It's like yellow and blue. Huh. It's been a few colors over the years. All right, y'all, as promised, it's very windy, but as promised, here's the goats. They let them out at night in the pasture, and we saw them hopping along, and they're just enjoying eating all the grass. They've got several pens of, of goats. Instead of bison tonight, we get to look at goats. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Good morning again. Coming to you live from a Harvest Hose. It's Prairie Fresh Farms. Prairie grass. Oh. Farms, Hill. I think. Scroll it on the bottom. It's yeah, been a we've night. only been here one time. So, um, it was funny last night. Well, it wasn't funny, but last night this storm just came through. Oh, and man. my phone got an alert. Matthews didn't, but mine did. And it said, seek shelter, thunderstorm warning. I'm like, oh, it's just a thunderstorm warning. But mm -hmm. then I looked. 80 mile per hour gust of wind. I'm like, what? We've been we, in 70, but. <laughs> we've been in 70. We have not been in 80. I failed to believe 80 would be much worse, but it didn't hit us. We were in a pocket of goodness. So. Yeah, I think that had already, whatever that cell was, was already. But we watched it, man. Uh -huh. It looked like. It looked like a Star Destroyer going by. That's what this cloud looked like. It was awful. I was like, oh my goodness. So I'm like, thanks weather. Because we really try to keep a close eye on the weather. Oh, and yeah. I guess worst case scenario, we were, if we would have got enough advance notice, then we would have brought the slides in, hooked the truck up and pointed, Reposition, it, yeah, yeah. pointed in a better direction. All right, you read, oh, and the peeps want to know, how are you doing? This is our third travel day in a row. My leg is a little sore, but I'm still walking, still carrying stuff, still doing stuff. So, um, overall I'm on the mend, but I've really taxed my leg and my hip a lot lately. So it needs two weeks to recover. <laughs> and he got on the roof. I, I got him, on the roof. I yeah. told him not to, but he said I was slow. So he got up there and cleared the roof. Yep. Got to get it done. You, you ready, ready to go? go? Yes. We said that at the same time. Isn't that kind of neat? All right, let's go. Can we do it again? No, let's go. Ready? One, two, three. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's go.